Hello, beautiful being. Thank you so much for joining today and giving yourself this time. Today's meditation is going to focus on reframing failure. So when you have arrived, and when you're ready, begin to get into a comfortable position. One that feels right in this moment. And allowing your body to enter a state of deep relaxation. And one where you can f remain for the duration of this meditation as I guide you into a state of calmness, bliss, and tranquility. And you may choose to close your eyes. knowing there is no right or wrong here. There is nothing for which you are trying. And meeting yourself exactly as you are and holding space For this unconditional openness and acceptance in this moment. Knowing that there is nowhere you are supposed to go. Nothing you are supposed to feel or do here. Taking from this experience whatever resonates with you. And allow yourself to surrender to the moment now. the only moment that ever exists. And begin to draw your awareness to the breath. Inhaling two, three, four, holding two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, releasing all expectations, with every breath out. And as you attune to your body's natural rhythm of breath, feeling your body rise and fall, and with each breath, sinking deeper
Feeling the cool air enter as you allow it in. And noticing the hot air. As you breathe it out. Noticing all of the sensations which reveal the presence of your body. And sinking deeper now, bringing your awareness to the body and notice how your physical form succumbs to the stillness of the breath. As your mind is relaxed, your body is relaxed. The breath is the vehicle through which your mind and your body synchronize, connecting through the spaciousness of the present moment. Continuing to breathe. Noticing where you are and feeling the resonance of all the other souls who were also called to this space in this moment now. Tapping into the frequency of light and love. And breathing in and out. Filling your body with gratitude to exist so coincidentally on this earth, embodied as you are. And as your mind inevitably drifts, simply observe from a place of non-judgment, openness, and allowing. and knowing that it is a natural function of the mind to think and practicing self-compassion allow these thoughts to just be Meditation is a portal through which what is understood to be you ascends to a body, its truth.
the ultimate awareness of experience. The space of stillness that resides beyond the buzzing thoughts and the urge to make sense of them. Continuing to breathe, becoming one with the realization that this peace and serenity is always within. And even when the chaos of the outside world consumes us, we can always come back to the breath. And when you occupy this space, you are able to distinguish the nature of consciousness from its content. Seeing your sensory perceptions and thoughts as inevitably rising and falling like waves in the ocean. Imagine this ocean now. Swirling and blue. Radiating with life. Unfathomably energetic and necessary for your own existence. Observe the waves, feeling the symbiotic nature of their crashing. For you know this crashing then allows for the next to form. And noticing how some waves are gentle. Some waves are strong. But all are both emerging from and then dissipating into the source of the whole. Noticing how the waves, each in their own way, are significant moments shaping the whole picture. And as you continue to breathe, breathing in and out, begin to think of your life and every event as this ocean and its waves. And each wave uniquely providing its energetic content, whether of connection, love, bliss, and alignment, or of challenge, wisdom, lesson, and growth. 
and seeing how it goes back into the whole ocean as it arises and inevitably falls perpetually shifting and transforming and in this realization it becomes effortless to see how the particles of every wave have divinely impacted the whole and it is when you take the perspective of the sky that this becomes ever clear and in meditation we practice embodying this ever observing entity the awareness that is beyond the sometimes chaotic and seemingly stormy sea the deep sense of I am which comes before the thought and breathing deeply in and fully out observe how the feelings of happiness or of unhappiness are not a part of you for these feelings arise and pass away within this space of awareness that which you truly are and you know in this space that the moments which you consider failure to which you too often attach yourself are actually not a part of your being at all you see that failure is an illusory concept and all points on your path guide you to the next transferring what was gained from that experience to the next just as all waves in the ocean return and dispense their content to the whole
and continuing to breathe. Feeling that what is perceived then as failure merely becomes one of the infinite intricacies of your path. And you can feel the energy of each challenging moment of your experience and how it has acted as a stepping stone which was divinely placed before you so that you could surpass it. Having acquired the knowledge necessary to soon either realize a dream or transform it into one that more truly aligns. And in this deep state of ultimate awareness, you know that a period of challenge always guides you either directly to the insights, information, ideas, and opportunities essential for manifestation, or to the beings who may share them with you. And when you see the passing states of emotional experience for what they are. Impermanent, ever transforming. And when you allow space for them to arise, you find the way to peace. And when you see yourself for what you truly are, the ultimate awareness, knowing of these transient states of being. You transcend to abide in pure consciousness. In drawing your awareness the breath, and whenever you are ready, With no need to rush, having nowhere you need to be, taking as much time as is resonant for you, gently allowing yourself to come back to your awakened state.
and filling yourself with thankfulness. for having brought yourself here, for following the inclination, the message transmitted. and bringing with you into the rest of your day this knowing that there is no destination to your journey on the level of the eternal present the journey itself embodies the destination you seek. And you are already here now. <laughs>